Hello and welcome back to more Psycho uh, psych Psychonauts. Uh, I speak English. Hi. Or at least I claim to. And, uh. We're finally going to the beach! Yay! I'm gonna meet my mic in a second, guys, during this cutscene, because I am writing like a paragraph to my friend. So have fun. Mm -hmm. Actually, I probably. I am still here, though. <laughs> He's probably here. Hi. Maybe. Uh -oh. Still here. I can explain. <laughs> okay, I just have to keep my, my mic unmuted for this. <laughs> that, that, that part's precious. Jeez. Sounds like you caught a bad cold. <laughs> Maybe. But listen. I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. I hope yes. to God they can still Isn't hear you. Great? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest I know. psychic emergency. And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. This LP he has been taken back five years thing. by our standards. Really? A deranged madman is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me. Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? Sorry! This I'm is a very so important excited. plot point, guys. This whole make yes, out thing. Yes, yes it is. Me. It's very important. More exciting. Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters... Our chicken tenders. How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here, and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? <laughs> oh, no. You didn't just hit my boyfriend. Lily! Don't worry, I'm sure she was delicious. Scene's over. Just for another one. Let's get him. I can't. I can't swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick. Chicken well, tenders. Again. I don't think you could do anything going. even if you could Are swim. You coming? I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. You can't go in the water I'm still. This is breaking the, the rules. Yet, yet. Yes, if yes, the it is. Brains are out, need Robert farted. Smells like rotten eggs. Help. <laughs> and how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you oh my god! Camp before? Now get a move on before that girl gets oh, it's so bad. Well, okay. Oh, well, no, uh, Yogi here like... describes what dog farts are like. It smells like he shit himself. You can finally go back here, because Bobby was blocking us before, but. As we see, he has recently developed a TV fascination, so... We can finally move on! I'm not sure if I really want to leave just yet, though. I want to grab some of these cards. Since I can finally do it. I pressed the unmute button on Discord. Good job! I started job. talking. I was really confused. Are you going to collect the rest of the stuff here? Not necessarily all of it, but at least it's up in the immediate area. Like, I'll grab that card on top of the roof there. And people said that, and, and by people I mean Mia said that this was just a story about the lungfish. Oh, Robert farted again. For crying out loud, what is your issue? Oh my god. What is your problem, Robert? Why do you do it when you're like half asleep? I don't understand. That's kind of kitty. I know! Oh wait, I've killed one of- you have to kill that, so I have killed one of these before. That's, that's the only one I've killed though, so I guess I have- that's probably why I forgot about it, because I've only seen the one. As opposed to the bear, which yeah, I've had to run away from a multitude of times. Of course, the only person capable of, capable of killing a bear is Kyle. He's the best. He's the greatest. Why is there an arrowhead on that rock? Is that all the knows? stuff here? I'm curious. I think there's a little more here. It's all I'm really interested in grabbing right now, though. Oh, it's everything. Oh, well, it's everything. Yeah. Nice. 
I like how they have that black spot there, but guys, it means nothing here. Don't, don't uh, worry. I'll get there. Walls. <laughs> science! This is science if I've ever seen it. Science! Uh. Okay, I was say, like, am I actually trapped? I have to ask my friend why he's on the RuneScape subreddit. I was explaining something RuneScape related to him, because he keeps sending me RuneScape stuff. Oh, look! A place where there conveniently is no longer any water. That's nice! Is this ever explained? Of course not. There's just conveniently a bubble that isn't water. What if I ask Kruller? Also, can we just acknowledge the fact that you literally, like, just went a few feet forward and you already sunk? Yes. That's probably part of, part of the old gypsy curse. Nothing more to report at this probably. time. Kruller out. Kruller out. I really should just have him explain every individual enemy at some point. But they never go away, so I'm not really feeling too pressured over it, but... Maybe we can save it for like a bonus part or something. I mean, it wouldn't be the that long, I don't think. Blowing. Or one of the, or it's maybe like the last part through. or something. Or maybe, maybe near the very end of the game, right before the point of no return, because there's like a lot of stuff. Well, the, hey, look at okay, yeah, those handprints are interesting. Yeah, it's because remember you can't go underwater. Mhm. Mm Did Robert just fart again? My dogs, specifically Romper's farts, are the worst. And it's funny because when he farts loudly, you don't know. Like, you, like you never know until it, he ends up actually doing it. Like, until it's too late. I think I need this for the boss. Spoilers? I think I don't know. Spoiled there is a boss. Sorry, I'm playing a 3D platformer. What'd you expect? Look, that lungfish could have been our best friend. It could have been. Like, in, in the entire joke was it seems evil, but it's actually just your best friend. But no, you had to spoil it was a boss. We were trying to do a no spoiler crazy. Yes. I'm sorry. It's all your fault. That is one ugly lungfish. Yes, yes it is. It's also a bear. It is. Oh, yeah! Guys, so now we can actually talk about it. This is the hairless bear that Mikael was talking about. It's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. According to the Psychonauts wiki, that is. Which is probably accurate. It probably is accurate, given the the, the case this game is already, like, pretty niche as is. Like, I feel like most game wikis are pretty accurate. They are, yeah. There are some... You know what? I think wikias in general are very accurate, just as a whole. Like, can we talk, like, I, or not can we talk about this for a second, I, I just want to mention, there, there is, I don't know which wikias it is, there are certain wikias that literally have like 200,000 articles on it. And I don't doubt it. Kind, it's kind of mind-boggling. I think like the Disney wikia, for example. Okay, yeah, has, that would definitely qualify. Like, Disney wikia. Especially if they... Include stuff like Marvel and Pixar and yeah, definitely. yeah, they, they they count they count now, and they also mention all the little tiny things. So, the Disney Wiki it has forty four thousand pages. That's kind of ludicrous. This isn't just like Wikipedia, which has a jack of all trades. So, it talks about Walt Disney. Uh, it's a free public collaborative encyclopedia for everything related to Walt Disney, the Disney Corporation, theme parks, film companies, television networks, films, characters, and more. Oh, the my interesting. My AC already turned off. 
I thought I said it was going to take about an hour, but I guess not. Nope. Well, it's cool now, luckily. The AC is right where my feet are. So, You're just this... about these poor crabs and seaweed to just fall apart once we're able to breathe here. Which this it's part okay, makes even though. less sense. It's okay, though. It's funny, because if you pay attention, they... The... I don't know about the fish, but I know the sea... Nope, the fish swim away, too, when the water comes back. Um, I actually really hate this boss. The first... Actually, no, I don't like the boss at all, to be honest. <laughs> Excuse me, that was gross. I'm sorry. I'm okay with most of the boss. I just wish they communicated what to do on it better. The thing I don't like about this... Well, first of all, the first section, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. It's just a slow auto-scroller level more than an actual boss. The second part... The second part is terrible at first but once you have a good a good grasp of what you have to do it's not that bad actually because you can kill it within like a few seconds but the first time i tried to fight it it literally took me like an hour or something ridiculous not an hour but it took me like five minutes i don't know why why an hour is the first thing that came to mind and auto scrollers are auto scrollers there's only a very select few games where auto scrollers can be all right in the first series that comes to mind is mario mario auto scrollers are some of the few that i feel like are actually bearable which is funny because most people actually hate mario auto scrollers uh yeah it's kind of a double-edged sword i guess another example i can think of immediately offhand yoshi's island has some really for the most part pretty decent auto scrollers though the only thing i hate about yoshi island auto scrollers is if you're watching a yoshi island speedrun which, by the way, if you guys have never seen a Yoshi's Island speedrun, high recommend. They are so much fun to watch. It's kind of crazy how much skill you need to be able to speed. But that might be the most skill-intensive speedrunning game I can think of offhand. Because you need a lot of APM to do that properly. For people that don't know what APM is, that's actions per minute. It's probably my favorite speedrun to watch. Um, in general. That in Mario Sunshine. Mario Sunshine is a lot of fun to watch too. Yeah, I don't think it's... I could ever watch a Mario Sunshine speedrun. I've just been too scarred. Mario Sunshine fun speedruns are fun to watch. Honestly, a lot of Mario games are fun to watch being speedrun. Odyssey is fun to watch being speedrun. Um, what's it called? Uh, Mario Galaxy is pretty fun to watch. Um, Odyssey, Mario 64, Sunshine, like I already said, it's pretty, those are all pretty fun. Though to be fair, a lot of speedruns are a lot of fun to watch, to be fair. I think the only ones that I don't find to be too enjoyable, for me personally, are like speedrunning games that aren't way too different from the base game as a whole. That's like the only thing I would make, like the only thing I can think of that would be like, So oh, extremely slow paced games or games that are built to be speed ran. No, I like games that are built to be speed ran. Like straight up being built to be speed ran. Like they will like intentionally let people sequence break certain things because they just, like Super Metroid. That game was built to be sped run. So games like those, that's, that's still probably my favorite game to watch for Speed Run Fury. It was, uh, what's it called? Super Metroid. It's also probably. It's probably the most popular speed, speed run game, along with, uh, what's it called? Get to hit him. Yeah. It took me a minute to remember. I got really lucky with it landing in there because otherwise I could have been here for a while. There, there is a very specific angle that I learned the second time around, which that's when I said it makes this really trivial once you learn it. Otherwise, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. But yeah, no, Super Metroid's the, my, the most fun game, I, in my opinion. I to watch it to be run. It's also one of the most popular, probably behind the Zelda and Mario. 64. Um, this game would probably be a lot of fun to actually watch being sped run out, I feel like. Granted, you'd miss all the- anybody actually did run it. <laughs> Like, you, the, the worst thing you'd miss on is the riding, and that is a big negative, but... Oh, okay, there you go. Have fun doing it. Oh, no, never mind. I thought you had to do a little bit no, of the No, you don't. Scroll. I thought you had to do the way end of the auto scroller again. Maybe if you lose all your life, you do. Well, I'm not that advanced. I think. 
No, you're not. This this boss isn't that hard. It's just a matter of finding the perfect position. See, you, I think you found it. <laughs> Suddenly the boss becomes really easy. You might get hit still, but it's like... And I don't even really care to dodge is the thing. Yeah. Like, I'll do base jumps, but that's it. Poor little, poor thing. little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus line what the? air bubble beneath a semi dry. Wait, the air bubble is just always there? By the work done on it, I, I guess so. Mori has mutated it, accelerated its growth. Okay, and and at least they acknowledge it. Brain to make it do his evil bidding. Oh, poor little yeah. thing. Go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal. <laughs> Use the psycho portal I saw you steal. Uh, yeah. That works on big skinny monsters. Oh my Excuse me, it's not monster. stealing if they weren't there to give permission, right? I like how he's like, he asks, that works on monsters? It works on anybody with a brain. Anything with a brain. But does it have a brain? In that case, why can't I just use it here? Why can't I use it on you? Because they didn't think that far in advance, and also they didn't have the technology. Aww. Which is why I think if they want to realistically have Psychonauts do the way they have to, they're going to have to limit the characters they show, I feel like. Though I do hope, er that with the if there is a limited cast, I do hope you're able to go on all of their minds. Either that or they're going to just not let you have free reign over one of those mental doors. Or maybe they'll make like a genuine reason to why you can't go in. Like maybe they'll be like, these, because you're in the Psychonauts HQ. Spoiler alert. Even though that's not really too big of a spoiler. Um, because you're in the Psychonauts HQ, maybe they're so strong with their psychic ability that they can force you to not go in because they know how to control that stuff really well. And good day to you. Then why didn't Ole Andrew stop us in this game? Because he's an idiot. <laughs> he's a lovable idiot. Oh, he's an idiot. <laughs> some, some of my favorite characters are idiots. Like, who? Neither coming to mind would be Locke from the Zack games. He's also got the same voice actor as Kong. Exactly, Something. he's another one. Sure, sure, sure. Also, we are just Godzilla in this level, and I love it for that premise alone. This level, I do not like... I'm not a big fan of the gameplay, but yeah. I love the premise. The premise and the, the the whole like story is probably one of the best in the entire game. But the gameplay itself is one of the worst. It's just because it's so slow. Yep. But you can, can already see levitate. it. I think I'm not mistaken. Is it jumping? There's a way to move faster. I think it's jumping. Is it? No. There, there, there is a way I figured out how to move faster. I just don't remember what it is. Or maybe I did just walk and I'm just kind of dumb. I think you just walked. Like, I probably did. Because, yeah, like, if you you know, play on just to show you. That's what happens when you try to levitate. You get kicked off immediately. Hey, I just tried to do the hover Down ability here. before. Hey, like, he already oh, has a name. Excuse me. Down here. Are you talking to me? Ah! Oh, my ears! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Oh jeez, I'm dead. sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Every member of the resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like he's you. He's back Kakala. to talking at his normal voice while he gets so his itching burst again. That stinks. So hey, have you seen any other humans around this, here? This I'm looking again, for a this girl called one of my favorite the government archives uh, in terms of story, like characters and all that stuff. Yeah, you would think such a simple really thing, would it? But it's just the writing. I, I mean, the next stage is really simple too. To access the archives, we must. I don't think I'd argue about that one. The next stage is one of my 
probably actually might be my favorite gameplay wise like too outside of just the writing though it's got it's pretty fun and barring maybe it's like few sections but i think that kind of goes for every stage for the most part first i need you to do something for the resistance i'm not sure if i'd give it the gameplay but story sure i don't know what i would give to gameplay I like how he didn't even punch it, he just jumped on it. I just saw the exclamation marks, I thought I could collect them. I thought it was a figment. I did! And now people just give you badges, because why not? Wait, why is Crawler still signing these? I don't know. Also, why is a random fish inside somebody's mind giving you it? Remember, guys, this isn't the mind of the lungfish. This isn't a real place. Hey, is this gonna upset Cochamera and all your little Which is funny when you think about it. In no, I doubt it. No, no, no. So, uh, no, 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 no. And then breaking this laser shield thing, nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No, of course no. not. Uh, maybe one guy would. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you saw his eyes move after he said no. I didn't. Wait, what? I believe so. For freedom. You know what I also love about these little guys? They all have the same fucking voice. They do, and it's so funny. <laughs> all right, I'm surprised. I am genuinely surprised. Tim Schafer has not written a, a what's it called um, cartoon by this point. Oh my god! I feel like you... The orphanage! <laughs> oh, uh, sorry about your orphanage. It, it, it'll be fine, though. All the kids survived! There's only way through, I had to destroy your bank! This isn't like the first game, for the record, guys, that Tim Schafer said really good writing. There's Brutal Legend, that came out after this, but there's Brutal Legend, and also he, he wrote Grim Fandango a very long time ago, and I love Grim Fandango for its writing. Grim Fandango, I still think Grim Fandango has my favorite writing of, of all his things. He also did Monkey Island, so. He's, he's had experience under his belt, and he's kind of hit it out of, you know, hit it out of the water every time, as far as I'm aware. I feel like we've talked about Grim Fandango at some point. I know you haven't played You mentioned it, it during the proper crew, but I don't think you mentioned it during DLP. You should totally still play it at some point. It's, it's a great it's game. It's very uh, low on my to-do list. I don't... The only issue I, I could potentially see with you in the game is, uh, what's it called? I don't know how you are with the games. Not the Seriously. best, but it's, uh, like, it would depend on the game itself at that point. Yeah, because it, it is a point click game, but the writing, again, it makes up for it in my honest I, I love the writing of Grim Fandango, it's so good. You're literally a skeleton, a, a Spanish skeleton. Oh no, I destroyed a mattress factory! Like, I know you really want to talk about Grim Fandango, and you're probably going to try to do that for the rest of the part, but this isn't Grim Fandango. It isn't, but it's a Tim Schafer game, so at least it has that that going for it. At least it's it's got. Like if you, you know, ever want to LP that game on the channel, you can. But that game is a game I'd actually probably be comfortable potentially putting on the list because it's not that long. It is a '90s uh, what's it called point-click game, so not too surprising. I'm gonna find another orphanage. You can't stop me. It's gonna break every building here. That's my school! Ah! Hooray! That's my school! Hooray! I mean, a school still has children in it. Maybe they've been evacuated by this point. This is it, this is the resistance talking to you, right? Uh, I no, can't... this is just random civilians. Okay, yeah, the resistance have those headbands. I wasn't 100 percent certain, so. Ow! 
Oh, right, right, okay. Fine. I'll use my shield this time. Chicken tenders. You don't need to take the tenders for this part. Oh, yeah, like three times by now. I totally, like, blanked on the whole... I, had, I was beating my mic earlier because I was typing like a paragraph to a friend of mine. Didn't want you guys to do that. It's not necessarily the most. Oh yeah, you got achievement. Regular PSI cadet. Also, we got the best. Uh, what's it called? It was regular PSI cadet, right? Yes. Frank. We got the best upgrade, Freedom! guys. Freedom! This is the chain bounce, I believe. Freedom! So, this big monster, is that the best you could do? We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. Doesn't look like much. I love me. the chain bounce. Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. Sorry about him, Gargalor. He's been in prison a long time. He's the only pilot the Resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. Can't wait to do this plan. Meet us at the dam so we can put it into action. Meet us at the dam. They literally not... just direct that blimp's coordinates from one point to another. I was gonna say that. I was about to say that's not how blimps move. Because <laughs> that's what you're referring to, right? How it just yes. kind of like, just moves over there. Hey, I see that. That's a memory bomb. That is a very tiny little thing. They it's are so all pitiful. tiny. The, the the other ones, and I think the very last city. One Kashopolis under siege. Okay, so we have all these little baby Lung Kashopolites. I guess that's what they're called. Like, it's what I'm calling them until I get another name for them. And there's then a, we get there's a, an egg. There's Eggman. Yes, a Dr. Eggman with a wrestler's mask comes and in to spider, save everybody. A spider on his chest. Egg Spider Man? Yes. Oh, no, no not a spider. Bigger. Now it's just zero two 2 from. What's it called? Kirby. Uh, you know what? I'll allow it. Zero two 2 Eggman. And uh, zero two 2 Eggman decides to uh, enslave the entire population and leave them to build Eggman Land. Okay, everything's ah, so sounding that's pretty safe so far. That's how Sonic Unleashed happened. Mm-hmm. You have to admit, he was really fast in Sonic Unleashed. Yeah. And we see the new Metropolis that got built. He this did a really good job of building a Metropolis, but they also this is, up building a Resistance. This is still probably Eggman Lands, realistically speaking. Eggman Land is huge. It's an entire continent. Uh... They should have called it, uh, what's it called? The blue tag, not the green one, but they should have, like, you know, I'm probably in the minority here. There's a high probability I'm in the minority here. They should have, I, I still think they should have called it Robotnik Land. You're, I, I don't know, because... Eggman Land has a better ring to it and it blows off the tongue better, don't get me wrong. I, it, I guess it depends on whether or not you're somebody that thinks he should have been called Robotnik or Eggman. Oh, I, I think he should have been called it. I just think Robot. I think. Then you're I in think, a very small minority. I think they should. Um, might be the only one. People, people say that because first of all, they grew up with Egg, uh, with uh, Robotnik, and second of all, because um, what's it called? They're like, oh, I can't take him seriously with his name being Eggman, and I'm just kind of like, isn't that the point though? <laughs> I never really felt like he was that intimidating. Yeah, like I thought he was. Kind of well, he's supposed to be comedically. Well, he's not a joke in the original games. I would say. Well, I mean, there was no plot in the original games. Oh, it was. It was just basic. Very basic. So, uh, I had rank 40 now, right? Because I, I don't have the crawler icon and it's weirding me out. Because you got Ricochet. You don't learn anything from it. Oh, now. okay. I think at this point, this is where you stop learning stuff from him. And you start getting, uh... Don't hurt him. What's it called? 
Yeah, this is where you start getting what's it called. Um, just the, the upgrades to all your abilities and stuff. They call me the trash man. It is me, the trash man. It is me, Bob. What do the police even do if the military can't help? Don't they bring in the Air Force? Which I don't know how that correlates, don't ask. Well, gee, thanks for spoiling what's gonna happen. Well, things have gotten a little I actually didn't remember if it was the Air Force or not. I don't even think it is the Air Force. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. I know I know one of them, but it's not, it's not the Air Force. I'm not going to say it now. Okay, look here. You did one spoiler. I did one spoiler. You've done two spoilers, so I'm not going to say the other one because it would require spoilers and that hasn't happened yet. It was, the, it was the other spoiler. I can't say because it hasn't happened yet. I don't remember saying it. He's putting words in my mouth. I'm not apologizing. Say, I'm sorry. You're my best friend ever. Sorry, you're my best friend ever. I'm ignoring that last part, though. Just said chicken. Luckily, the figments here aren't on the team. Uh, I'm getting rid of that tank. It's getting annoying. The figments here were annoying. That would really suck. Yeah, no, you can get them all first time through, no problem. Yeah. They're only bad in every other one. I think the reason why they're so easy here, comparatively, is just because it, this is such a secluded level for the most part. Like, I think, like, basic branding, they're pretty easy because it's pretty secluded and it doesn't blend in. Uh, some of the later stages have a lot of issues with blending. The next stage is hard because there's a lot of places that you can just completely neglect without really thinking about it offhand until it's too late. Uh, if you miss one of them, good luck figuring out which one you missed. Yeah, if you're like me, you'll just you'll just wish you're you'll you're dead. You'll die. You'll die in real. You die in the game. You die in real life. That's how it works. The destruction Another and report. Continue. The destruction and terror continue. I like how they call it Godless Child Beast. Yes. And it's all being voiced by Oleander. That's not right. Why would it be voiced by Oleander? It sounds like Oleander. Oleander, more like Holy Poo Poo Head. Because he's trying to take over the world, and that's really mean. Why would he want to do that? Would you want to take over the world? Yes. Oh. Um. Hello, police. I got him. <laughs> police, he's in my house as we speak. Every seven words. <laughs> yes, police. I did give him my contact information. Don't worry, I'm going to contact you right now. It's funny, because he does have my phone number. I was right. actually grabbing my phone to do it, but then I realized there's no way I can do it in the middle of the park. If you were recording, I would totally do it. I would, I would, I got you, don't worry. I'll fix, I'll fix this. Just gonna reverse this, I'm gonna make it. Just a this. I hear your phone ringing. Oh, there it goes! My phone's on vibrate. I feel like I have to answer, but I won't. Because I wouldn't even be able to hear you, because my phone's on silent. But yes, it's, it's vibrating. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to leave. 
leak your number there. <laughs> I was gonna leave a message, but it, it said leave a message for, and I thought I was gonna say uh, your phone number, so I, I dipped out of that as soon as I possibly could. I, I'm I'm a good guy, guys. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that to him. I'm a good person. I just kill like four people in a row. They're not people. They're ah, fish. Now you see the genius They're delicious. First we print flyers. Then we spread them all I'm not really a fish time. guy. I know it's weird. I'm from California. The sun is in front of the clouds. You don't like our plan. You can come up with another one. Hello, yes, oversight. We have yeah. to see again. And then find a decent but inexpensive printer within a week. Xbox game. What do you do? I thought this game was like Have you come up with a better plan than to more for what's it called? It was originally developed for the Xbox. Oh, not surprised. I just thought it wouldn't or it wasn't. It, it ended up getting a PS2 for it because of course it did. PS2 was selling like candy back then. It's because the PS2 is candy. Explain so much! That's why it was so tasty when I ate part of it! Excuse me, and you're the one questioning why people were eating their cartridges for the the switch? It was delicious. I'm pretty I sure I jokingly box. told you. Let's see if it really is bad tasting or something. I don't think it might have not been you. It might have been somebody else. But I, I want to say it was you. You and me who got into a discussion about how it's very bizarre how they how they did that. I guess this was your fast movement off. Oh the yeah, delay. that that is my fast movement. Yeah. It took me a while to figure that out. It's still not great because it locks you into that movement until it's done, but it's something. It's faster. Mm-hmm. I'm faster. That's guess wrong. who else is faster? That's who we call Romper. I like the one second let my dog's out. Oh, we just killed another fish. Oh, there is another four. If you still keep track of the body count, well, please don't keep track of the body count. It's uh. What's the answer to the here again? Oh, no, I'm just supposed to jump up there. Turn in Gogolor for reward. I don't remember now. One, I'm gonna fall off. There we go. Don't mind me, I'm gonna make it. Any minute now. Back, we're climbing the Hoover Dam currently. That's how that works, right? Sure. This hat now. box needs a hat box to hat. Two hundred fifty-nine. Yeah, I got a life back. For once, that thing th does it doesn't just tell me my lives are full. Wait, the the tag is right here. Well, yeah, okay. Got his get it, guys. He's a nerd. <sighs> this is my this is my favorite emotional baggage. They're so cute. I love them all. <laughs> They're so this precious. A favorite. Convince me that there's a better one. I can't convince you there's a better one. I can only convince you that they're all amazing. Convince me that my middle name isn't Tim. I thought, I thought it, your middle name was Pizza. Uh, uh, oh, Mr. Uh, Fenders. Hello, police? I've got him. FBI, open up. <laughs> oh no. Yay, I got ammo up. Yay. 
So did I. Forgive me for I have sinned. Such a fun, fun, silly stage. Here goes the ship. I don't know. Okay. No. Feel about the stage. You just said you didn't like it. Then you said you like it, and now you're saying you don't know. <laughs> I, it's it's a love hate. It's a love hate because I do like it for a lot of reasons, but I also don't like it for a lot of reasons. Specific. Well, the gameplay I don't even hate. It's just like okay. It's just a little slow. slow but yeah, that's. But the but the story. And they makes remove up. levitation, which oh, I don't yeah. like. The, this, but the story, luckily, I think, for the most part, makes up. Now that would be good. Oh sure, the story's great. Your breath take. I destroyed an orphanage. I take that statement back. You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. Because it's me, Bob Marley. Bob uh, Marley? I thought you was Chicken Sanders. Look here. Sometimes you go through identity crises. And sometimes you go through those crises uh, like seven times in an hour. Sometimes you have identity crises. Sometimes you just have prices. <laughs> oh, wrong button. I keep getting the L1 L2 buttons mixed up. Or LB and LT. Yeah, aren't they different on the uh, the PS3 version? Is that why? PS4, sorry. Yeah, I, I, I think they saw the L1 L2 with LB and LT. And it's, it's throwing me off, man. Sorry, can you forgive me? Uh, you didn't do anything. Can you can you still forgive me? Pretty easily. Yeah. And then then forgive me. Okay, I was forgiven. Thank you. Now I can finally tell my mom that I haven't been forgiven. Forgive and forget. But never spaghetti. <laughs> but never spaghetti. No, but never spaghetti. I was I was making a rhyme. Okay. Fine. Tough times, tough crimes. Are you trying to be a rapper now? Is this, is this the world we live in? Never thought I would have to save this on camera, but I'm too white. <laughs> I'm not wrong. You can't say I am. Yeah, I'm not even gonna touch that one. That's a whole can of worms that I refuse to touch. I wouldn't even touch a can of worms. It's gross. I would touch a can of worms before I touch that topic. Why would you touch a can of worms? I mean, I don't know. You need something for fish bait. That is true. Okay. Better than maggots, at least. Mm hmm. Anything is better than maggots. We're here with the star of the popular sitcom Trouble in the Bubble. Here's the, the, Buddy, the star of the popular sitcom. Buddy, mm -hmm. what's your take on the Goggle War situation? Is he just misunderstood? What does Gagalore oh, even mean? I hate Gagalore. Sorry. I can't I'm not imagine sure. any one of my fans siding with the monster. He hates everything lungfish care about. Air, water, Billy, the economy. Almost sounds like somebody having like a stroke. Yeah, screw your economy. The Navy has decided to pull out what they're most famous for. 
I think my favorite part about and there's your the spoiler. Whole, <laughs> the whole like, what is it? Is it the oh the air? Yes. Air Force. In fact, the, I the still, Navy pulled out what they're most famous for. I still I still don't know the other one I spoiled offhand. It, it, it must have been so passing by that I completely forgot. Gogolor, come in. We have commandeered these vessels in your name. Oh, thank you. Position to help you cross That's Kochamara so nice Channel, of you. To get to Kochamara Island and destroy Kochamara yeah. Tower. The thing is that um, although we have the utmost faith that you will Maybe soon contain we can the be area, best friends Gogolor, forever. We, uh, How's that we sound? just think it best to do where uh, we've decided to maintain I scare our position you. out here. I just scare until me. you clear the area of all hostiles. Yes. For insurance reasons, Gargalore. Yes, that, and for freedom. Ah, great, lovely. Hold on a sec. Well, okay, I guess he's, uh, run off to who knows where. Are they the airplanes in this area, too? Okay, uh, I am muted. <laughs> Romper was let into my room, and the, but my door wasn't closed all the way, and I thought my stepdad failed to close my door. Oh, I destroyed a cheese shop. This turns out that he was uh, getting uh, my other dog wins to That's all the cobwebs. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I think the cobwebs are probably the hardest part here. I think on the last island, that's where the other bolt is, by the way. Yeah, I'm it's... not going to have this part go on too much longer, by the way. We're almost at 50 minutes. I would just finish off the stage. We're almost done. I mean, yeah, or, I know, but... Or you could split this part and the next part. The next part I, I expect to be kind of short, if you would cut it off real soon. Yeah, well, Isn't... that's not really too big of an issue for me. Is there anything else in this area? My heart and soul. Is there anything other than your heart and soul over here? My mind and body. Oh, there's another vault. I didn't even see that. Oh, it's on this one. Yeah, no, they're really small here. It's like the only. Okay, I guess we'll end up the part with the vault. They didn't scale any of the stuff. Lungfish and Labato. It's Labato. They say his name. It's Labato. It's, the joke just doesn't work. So you have this uh, lungfish just hanging out here in the air bubble watching television. You know, like any good lungfish. I'm a lungfish. The lungfish gets caught by a deer, uh, I guess. Well, you, you look at those feet and tell me what you see. All hail deer lord? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> then we There's got Dr. Oleander Labo Lobato. And Oleander. Oleander's missing an eye. Supposed to show that he's evil. In that case, Lovato's super evil. No, Lovato's a good guy. Uh, right, of course, he's he's just a superhero. Yeah, that's he's why also, he turned this into this. He's also a man's best friend. He's a doggy. I'm a doggy. Bow wow. Bow wow wow. Yippee yo they, yippee yay. They sent the lung fish out into the world. What's what's Oleander holding? Are those drawings of kids? Um, I think so. Yeah. That looks like that's a brain capsule. That's to his right, our left. And Lobato's just holding a brain too, so that's nice. That's me. Yeah. Okay. Well. Anyway, thank you for watching. Next time we'll finish off the stage and. Do anything do. else that we might have in the hub area to do before the next stage, which probably won't be a whole lot, but... Kind of it really isn't. They really lock you out. So I don't expect the next stage, stage to be... or the next part yeah, to be Yeah, don't too be long. too surprised if we start off the next Mental World in that part, too. Once we oh, see I, just figured, I just figured you were going to stop it. Depends on how long the part goes. But we'll see you guys.